say it's cotton day, but I know what I want and I have it in my head and I'm always afraid to hand it over to other people. You link your media kit below. For space, you just want to introduce yourself. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina Caetano. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy this video. Morning guys! done showering and stuff and actually I did my best to look kind of presentable These days are filled with online why is it moving am I tripping or is this really moving these days are actually filled with online classes that's why I'm wearing sweatpants and stuff because I am not bothering myself doing all of that when I'm just at home today is content day but not like the shooting and editing and stuff but actually just reaching out to brands. A couple months ago I decided to take Instagram a little bit more serious actually and um, the reason was just because I loved taking pictures so I thought I might as well starting serious you know so uh, I looked up some things on how to start and how to reach out to brands and stuff and I was skeptical at the beginning but even when I started in my first month I worked with like two brands I guess I was surprised I did not expect it so actually i've been slacking up because i've been studying a lot but today's a day to reach out to new brands because i've been working with several brands several times now and i've been sending all brands that i come across that interest me i will just try to co uh, to contact them and ask them if they would like to do collaborations and stuff but before i do that i need to upgrade my media kit a media kit is actually like a kind of cv when you go i don't know we say cv I don't know how to call it, it's a CV I guess in English but it's actually just like a little paper where all of your uh, previous work experiences all of your personal information is like written down Media Kit is actually the same but for your socials so I need to upgrade that because you need to mention the brands that you've worked with before and when I started I didn't work with any brands so it was blank but now that I've worked with several brands I need to upgrade to that part of my Media Kits and it may be even fo my following a little bit I have not been growing that much but I'm just doing it for my own fun I, I'm trying not to focus on likes on uh, growth I'm just trying to make my content as qualitative as possible and I'm just trying to make sure that my um, content has a quality that I want for my feed and the quality that I want for my videos and stuff so I'm more focusing on that part of uh, the creating and the rest will follow this is my pet and God want me to do this I will grow for sure in this so I'm just very excited I have like one lecture to follow today also but it's easy peasy it's just a fast one so yes this is what I'm going to do today let's eat because that's something I need to learn myself when I'm trying to have a productive day I tend to forget to eat and that's not normal and I don't have an issue because I love eating but it's just like I don't know I like to take my time with eating and I always have the feeling like no I need to get this done before I eat and that's not a good mindset so we're gonna eat now this looks kind of a lot but I'm just so hungry I just cleaned up a little bit and now it's time for me to follow my lecture online I'm not very excited about that because as you guys can see I'm just sitting in the sofa I get really passive when I'm 
following courses online but we gotta do what we gotta do with this pandemic baby hours have passed and it's so really dark that's what the one thing i don't like about winter it's dark really really fast and it just gives me those vibes of i don't want to do anything else with my day maybe i will do the mails today maybe tomorrow i'm not quite sure but we will see Hi guys, I don't even know if y'all see me well. It's the next day. So guys, I told you I was tired yesterday. I didn't send the mails. I did not. I did not send the mails. Um, I just had my online classes. And I'm still in my PJs. I was just getting ready actually. And after that, I will send the mails. And update my media kits. But I have two more things to do for school, like school-wise. So bear with me. No, no. I'm going to do my best to do the media kit today. And I'm going to do my best to fix my schoolwork today. In Jesus, we can do everything. In Jesus, everything is possible. So let's go. Done showering. I'm done showering just to put on a onesie. You know the vibes. I'm gonna eat a pizza. And while the oven is like heating itself up. I think I will start with my media kits. I was actually searching my media on my Canva. Um, just a second. This is the plug, you guys, Canva. I make my thumbnails from now on. This is the first one that I made on Canva and it worked perfectly. This is my intro that I made on Canva. A lot of work, but worth it. I know what I want and I have it in my head and I'm always afraid to hand it over to other people because I'm just not sure if they're going to make it as I have it in my head. So I just try to figure things out on myself and even though it's not that good because it could have been better, yeah. But at least I made it and I know what I did so I always can make it better. Back to the screen. I made my media kit a while ago but I did not make it on my profile so it's not in my recents. I just had to search it and here it is. First place, you just want to introduce yourself. Let them know what kind of influencer you are. And actually, I'm just a fashion and lifestyle influencer. I do a lot more. I love music, I love singing, I love just being myself actually. So, I don't really have a niche, even though it's written over here. I am the niche. That's that. And then here you have like the social media stats. You can uh, look this up. I did it for Instagram and your engagement rate you can actually like use a website to do that services i can do unboxing giveaway haul product review content creation and normally there's another uh, page that actually like tells which brands collaborated with you obviously when i made it at first i didn't work with any brand so i'm trying to update that you know, if you don't want to update the, your media kit like every other month because you grow on instagram if you are active and stuff you just can use this I did 1,300 plus because I, at the time I was like at 1,300, I don't know. But now I'm at 1,500 plus, so I will just change that up. Nice, so I uploaded this into Canva and now I can work further. I don't have to like start over. You guys, I'm telling you, I didn't use like a template or something. I just um, took a page and started off with like the text, as you guys can see over here. I just chose one. I <laughs> actually like forgot which one because as you guys can see there are a lot of options so i just chose one and i copy pasted it to make sure that everything has so that everything has the same kind of letters and now i'm just adding a page over here and i will give it the title like brands i've worked with don't put too much time into this because actually if you link like your socials like for example i am sending a mail to i don't know zara my dreams then maybe one day, um, if I'm sending a mail to Zara, I will introduce myself in the mail. Hi, I'm Jinya. Um, I was wondering if you guys um, are doing any campaigns with influencers. Can I please um, have the contacts of the PR person? And some brands respond, some brands don't, but don't worry. Introduce yourself again if they give you like the person like, hi, yes, thank you for reaching out. This is the mail of a person who, do, who does our social media or our PR. So they give you like the email and then you can email them again and then you introduce yourself again. You explain actually what is into your media kit. So you explain what kind of influencer you are, what you do, like tell them what you have in mind 
with their brand because it's actually better sometimes to tell them like yes i want to do a reel or i want to do this and this and this and i have this in mind so they have like kind of a view of what you would like to do with them it's just easier for them to like see you working with them yes or no and then actually you link your media kit below so some brands will really look at it in terms of the statistics, your followers, but they will not really read all of it, I guess. Because a lot of people just send them mails. So just make sure that the most important things are in there. Yeah, don't make it too long because most of the time they don't read it that well. But just make sure it looks good and presentable so you can link it and it's always professional to like put this into the mail. I've managed to copy the same i think it's the same it looks the same the same handwriting and now i'm using this template you see you guys to write down all of the brands that i've worked with. okay guys i think i'm done i've just written down all of the names all of the brands and that. maybe i need to make this one as small as these ones let me figure this out okay guys it's not getting any better than this i'm happy with it just watch from the beginning to the first page, the second page. This is a little blank, but I was like thinking about maybe putting YouTube into this, but uh, my statistics aren't that great. So I will just wait a little bit until I include that. That's out of the way now. Now I will eat really quick, and after that I will send emails, because yesterday I said I will do it tomorrow, and now tomorrow is today, so might as well just do it and afterwards i will work for school try to work for school hopefully good morning guys it's the next day yesterday i didn't do that much to visit um, family members so that's why I didn't vlog over there today it's Sunday I have a lot of time I don't need to do anything for school and today I will be sending the emails to the brands I promise getting actually or um, I just kept skipping it because I don't know but today I will be doing it so yes homemade cookies and homemade bread and homemade soup so that's what I'm going to have for breakfast sent the emails i've sent the emails it's sunday today so i hope by tomorrow just like in the course of next week i will get some answers and basically how do i find these brands i actually just stumble upon them through influencers actually when i'm on my blog page and i see a girl that's wearing something cool i will click on that photo and she's tagging the brand so let's just hope that i will get some positive answers back yeah, that's actually all that I did. I was just chilling the whole time. And that's it. Apparently this helps when you're cutting onions to not cry, to like wet something and put it aside of the onion. Let's see if it really works. <laughs>
Popeye.